welcome to Month of Biz Love Day 13. Today's challenge is to prioritize one thing that you want to get done this week. Welcome to Month of Biz Love. I'm Tara Spiger. I help makers and artists feel awesome about their business. And one of the ways I do that is through this 30-day challenge. It started with daily video lessons. It started on May 25th, 2016, and it's going to go through June 24th. If you're watching this later, you're totally welcome to join in. Just make sure you download the workbook, which is at tarasbiker.com slash monthofbizlove. It's going to have all the challenges there. And, um, and it's so Month of Biz Love is the workbook where you get challenged with a new daily challenge each day and daily video lessons, which you can find on YouTube in my Month of Biz Love playlist. And you can find my YouTube channel at tarasweiger.com slash YouTube. That will link you directly there. And then the third part of it was uh, people doing the challenges and sharing their responses on Instagram. And there are so many good ideas for what you could do for all of the other uh, challenges on Instagram at the hashtag Month of Biz Love. Let's go to Instagram.com, look for the Month of Biz Love hashtag, and also follow me on Tara Swiger on Instagram. So with that, let's get into today's video lesson. Uh, today's challenge is to prioritize your week. And what I mean by that is to choose one to three things you most need to get done this week to move towards your goal. Now, you prioritize based on the bigger picture. What are you doing in your business? Where do you wanna go? You don't just look at what's most pressing because that's stuff, yeah, you need to do, definitely. But what I'm talking about is prioritizing your goal. In other words, you need to get done normal stuff every week that comes up, like shipping out orders, making orders, listing things on Etsy, doing your taxes, whatever you gotta get done this week. But it's really easy to get stuck doing the urgent and to miss out doing the important. And the important are the things that move you towards the business you really want. And so that's why this lesson comes on day 13 and not earlier, is because first we had to get clear about what the bigger picture is in your business. What are your goals? What are your mission? Uh, if you've been following along, then you know we have talked about your dream business. We've talked about your mission what you're trying to do in the big picture of your business. And then we broke that down into a goal, talked about what kind of goal you need and what goal you wanna set for the next one to three months. So now it's time to break that down even smaller into what are you gonna do this week? So earlier in the challenge, just a couple days ago, I asked you to pick one quest you could go on and then to actually go on it. And a quest is just an action you can take in 24 hours. It's gonna move you towards your goal. Now I want you to look at the idea of the quest in the terms of everything else you're doing in your week, because you're doing a lot in your week already. How do you make sure you have time to work on your goal? This is a question I get all the time. And this is a thing that keeps people from loving their business. They want to do something specific and yet they don't ever find the time to it. How do you find the time to it? You prioritize it. You decide this is the thing that matters most to you this week. And it's key though that this thing you're gonna do, this thing you're gonna prioritize, is not giant. It's not a project, it's a task. If you've taken my class on Creative Live, um, which you can find at taraswiger.com slash time, you'll know that there's a big difference between projects and tasks. A project is a whole collection of things. It might take you weeks or months or days to get done, whereas a task is one tiny step you'll do within that bigger project. So one of the reasons uh, that you might feel overwhelmed like you can't work towards your goal is because you're looking at it in terms of the projects and you're not breaking those projects into tasks. So when I say prioritize working on your goal, what I mean is prioritize one task that will move you forward towards your goal or towards the project of your goal. Okay, so with that, that's what your challenge is today is to choose what is your priority for the week? What is one or maybe three tasks you're going to get done this week towards your goal. Now, you may have all the other things you need to get done in your business, that's fine. You may also prioritize those, decide which of those are the most important to you. But I want you to decide that working on your goal is a priority this week. It won't be every week, but it can be this week, unless you're going through some strange week in your business and you've got, say, a craft show coming up and that's your immediate um, goal and focus. Then come back to this in another week where you don't have something really pressing, you don't have a deadline, and decide to prioritize your goal that week. Now, saying all that, I want to make it clear. You can't always prioritize your goal. Sometimes you have to prioritize the urgent. We all have things that come up that we have to deal with right now, and that means that our goal gets pushed back, and it's not the priority for that week or that day. 
that's okay. But you, what you don't want are too many weeks and months in a row where all you can do is deal with the urgent and never the important. So if you find that happening, then maybe your challenge this week is to figure out what's going on there. What is keeping you from working on what's really important to you? And we're going to talk about this more in upcoming uh, challenges in the rest of uh, month of biz love. We're going to talk about saying no to things. We're going to talk about how to know if something's a definite yes. We are definitely going to talk about what to do when you don't have time to work on what's important to you. But today I want you to decide to prioritize what's important to you based on the bigger picture, your goal, your mission, where you want to go. So prioritize an action. Don't just say, um, I'm prioritizing making more sales. Decide one action you could take that would make that goal happen. Hopefully you had some ideas as you started to come up with your quests a couple days ago. Um, one action and then make it a priority for this week. Decide you will absolutely accomplish it this week, okay? All right, so now as I record on Periscope, I'm gonna ask some of the viewers, what is your priority for the week? What are you working on this week as your priority? And if you wanna tell me what goal it's associated with, um, and then I'm gonna just read some of them off. So if you're watching on YouTube, this is what some of the people said there are priorities. Um, Teresa said she's going to get her yarn labeled, photographed, and listed on Etsy. Awesome. Emily is going to get set up a meeting to discuss selling your yarn to your local yarn store. Yay! So setting up that meeting would be the task. Bronwyn is sending her first newsletter. Amy is working on mindset stuff and mapping out growth strategies. I love that. Sometimes your priority is just um, getting clear about what you need to do. Mary says setting up her Fiber Club website and launching on Friday. That's awesome. That's Elemental Fiber Works. Um, Kara is finishing the content for her new planner class. Fantastic. Marcia says she's going to work on being on IG, on Instagram. I would suggest, Marcia, that you make that a little more measurable. What actual task are you going to do to be consistent on Instagram? Are you going to take five photos? Are you going to post five photos? Uh, Daphne says, I'm going to plan my first three posts for a blog I'm starting. Yay! So by plan, do you mean outline or do you mean actually write? Remember, you want to make sure that you've got this into individual tasks and not just the big project so that you know when you're done with it and you can celebrate it. Uh, when I asked you guys to uh, tell me about your quests a couple days ago in the challenge, somebody wrote uh, three different tasks. And I was like, well, that's three. And I said, do one. And she had already done two, but she didn't do her third one and she felt bad. And I was like, no, the challenge was to do the one thing and then celebrate that you've done that. Uh, Pen and Thimble says her tasks are to create an email newsletter template and create a customer survey. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so I want to hear what you're prioritizing this week to let me know. Post on Instagram with the hashtag month of biz love. I will be checking them all out and celebrating with you. And then when you, when you accomplish what you um, have prioritize, I want you to also tell me on Instagram. You can comment on my photo. You can do it in the uh, month of biz love hashtag, but share it. I love to see it. And don't forget to celebrate. We talked about that a little bit on Friday, uh, a couple days ago. I'm going to celebrate what you get done. And we're going to talk about that a couple more times because it's so important. So Daphne is also outlining. Oh, oh, for your blog, Daphne is outlining and deciding on topics. That's fantastic. So um, I want to tell you a little bit about more about what I do to prioritize, and I just started doing this in the last month or two. I um, I have been limiting it. I used to prioritize one to three things, and now I've been limiting all of my priorities for the week to one project. So I set the project that, and it's called Sprints. There's a book, Sprint, I'm reading, but I actually just heard about it from a friend. I set a sprint for the week, and the sprint is one project and I make that my number one priority. It is the thing that I work on above everything else and I work on it every day and it is all of my project time. Now you, if um, you've been watching my videos or listening to my podcast for a while, you may know that I have both project time and then also like consistent project time. So my consistent projects are every week I record and release a new podcast episode. Every weekday I periscope and uh, every week I send an email uh, actually, several email newsletters, one to Starship Captains, one to um, my regular subscribers, which you can get on that list at taraswiger.com slash month of biz love. But that 
is my consistent time. And I work on that usually for about half a day Monday and then all day Tuesday is when I do all those consistent tasks. In all the rest of my week, I work on my projects. So what I've been doing, instead of working just a little bit on three or four different projects, is making one project my priority for the week and that's what I work in in all of my time that week. So that helps me stay focused on moving towards whatever my goal is. It also helps me make and see real progress towards projects. When some uh, weeks I have other things that get in the way, like I have live teaching gigs or I'm traveling, I find that those weeks that I don't have one single focus, I feel like I get so much less done and I feel a lot more flustered. And I have a lot harder time figuring out what I'm supposed to work on and what I'm supposed to be doing. So that's how I prioritize. I pick one project and that's my total project. Other people, especially makers who have to make a lot of product, they don't have as much project time. Most of their time goes into making, photographing, listing, those consistent tasks you do over and over. Your project time might be one hour once a week. That's fine. So for you, it just one task is what you can get done in that one hour, and that's what you're going to prioritize towards your goal. Okay? So I did want to say one more thing, and that's that prioritizing helps you love your business in a couple ways. The first way is that you get clear on what you're supposed to be working on. So many of you, and I have been in this boat too, um, are feeling tepid or lukewarm about your business because you feel flustered each day. What are you supposed to work on? What are you supposed to do? Where should you put your energy? That swirling uh, makes it harder for you to remember what you love about your business and uh, makes it harder for you to enjoy working on your business. So prioritizing helps you get clear and it also helps make sure that you're truly building the business you want because you take your goals and your mission and you boil it down to this week. The only way you get to your goals and then your dream business and eventually living out your mission is by working on it every week. And by prioritizing your each your week every Monday, make sure that you're putting aside some time to work on what really matters to you. And that is key for loving your business, is to actually work on the projects that matter and be more, moving more and more towards that business that you want. So that's how prioritizing helps you love your business more. That's why it's part of Month of Biz Love. It's also something that I've been doing most Mondays on Periscope for, gosh, the past year. So if you're all interested in Periscope, you can follow me there. Um, I'm Tara Swiger on Periscope. You can also see them at periscope.tv slash Tara Swiger. But I wanted to share that with you guys as part of Month of Biz Love because I've seen that it helps so many people feel just better about their business and helps them work on the things that really matter to them. So I hope that uh, this has helped you figure out what you're going to prioritize this week. I would love to see it. Be sure to share it on Instagram with the hashtag Month of Biz Love. And thank you so much for watching and following along. I love to see what you're working on. Uh, thanks and have a really wonderful prioritized day.